Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Not My Bag. This is another exciting solo episode where you I'm- You sound so excited. Where I'm hungover again <laughs> because GK Barry took me to her box at Scissor and I drank too much. Tell us all about it, Joe. Come on. I know you want to get it off your chest. It wasn't even a free bar. Like I'm broke and tired today. Was it not? But I've got my merch because that was my second scissor gig and I'm going to my third this evening. Does it not get boring though? Because no. you've done this with Beyonce as well. And I'm just like, I, I, you just get, you know what's coming. You know No, I cried songs. more last night. For those at home that don't know this, I'm a very big scissor fan. Very big. It's the I world's smallest have, tattoo. But I have it on me forever. This is scissors album control. Mum thinks it says <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I, gu I guarantee when you're older, I'm going to sound like mum here, right? yep. but it's going to be all splodgy and you'll get that covered. Okay. Well, can I just say, oh, okay. you yeah. want a tattoo of Zeus on your calf. Okay. I'm all about personal tattoos. What has Zeus done for you, George? What is he the God of? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks cool. <laughs> Maybe attracting some puss for you. No, it does. It looks cool though, doesn't it? Speaking of puss. I get none. <laughs> George gets none. And our dog has a water infection. She has got... What, wait, what did I just say? Uh, she has Sornen. Sornen. So... Um, Can we have a hashtag Sornen in the comments? So we, um, we're having to take back some vodka crayon from Grace's set. Not <laughs> just crayon. Don't want to kill our dog. Because um, cranberry juice helps with water infections. Uh, us giving our dog vodka crayon. <laughs> yeah, not the vodka crayon. Sorry, I slipped up there. Peter, don't come for me. Is it Peter? Who's Peter? Protection for PETA. Peter. P E T A. Isn't yeah, it? Peter. Not like the bread. <laughs> <laughs> I hope hummus doesn't come for me. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Anyways. Also, you guys can't see this, but me and Joe had another. Wait, no, wait. Yeah. We had another Spider Man moment, you know, where it's like. Oh, yes. So basically, the other day we walked downstairs, we were both wearing the same card from Zara, and then we turned up today and. Oh, that didn't sound great. Brothers that dunk together. Oh, wait, wait. Look at the, look at the difference in size. Yeah. Size doesn't always and matter. That's exactly no. why you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, what size beat no. are you? Uh, 9.5. I'm an 8. So what's going on with the ladies? Anything? Any updates? Any summer flings? Nah. No? Nothing? Nah. nah. Nothing? Nah, talking to the two tings, but you know what I mean. Not even like a summer fling? No, not really. You're not having a hot girl summer? No. No. Very. Guess that's just me then. It's very um, <laughs> cold boy winter. Is it? Frozen. Mm. Shut. Well, you need to um, you need to get out more. What's going on with you? What is We're this? actually going to go no, on to the next segment. No, we're not, the mate. The next segment. No, we're not, which Joe, is Joe, Love Joe, Island. No, we're not. We're not. We're staying on your Love Island. We're not talking about this on camera, Joe. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I need to tell you guys about the Uber from hell that I had the other night. I'm actually, should, I, should I read out the messages? That yeah, I but let me explain the story, okay, right? So my Uber from hell journey. So I went out in Hackney for a friend's birthday. The Blackwall Tunnel's closed. Hackney to my flat normally in Greenwich is about 15, 20 minutes. Two hours in an Uber to get home because the tunnel was closed, right? <coughs> to the point where the guy said to me, I think you should get out and walk because it's quicker. Like, where? It's, it's a river. It's the Thames. Like, mm. this man wanted me to swim home. So I fucking rated him like zero stars. Absolute mug. Then I didn't speak to him for the whole it journey. Is... It was so uncomfortable. And he didn't put the radio on. So we just oh, sat there like, <coughs> you know, when you're like. <coughs> it is awkward, though, when it's like that. And you, you're like looking in the mirror. And you can oh. tell that they're pissed off. But it's their job. And... I didn't even do anything wrong. He was like, mm. he was like, and then do you know what? They charge you. I didn't know this. They charge you extra when you're stuck in traffic and everything. If the journey takes longer, no. so it was double the amount. So what? It's, it's, it's your fault. You're stuck in traffic, apparently. Yeah, Guys, it was bastard. hell. But anyway, right, can I, can we I read out the text? Yeah, you can read out the text. So this was at one twenty-six. Uh, I didn't get until two. This was Saturday morning. Yeah. Like that. Anyway, oh god, my phone's popping off. Uh, not not girls. Pictures of my car. Oh. Sorry, anyway. Virgin. I've now lost the messages. Virgin. So. Joe, please. Virgin. Um, how, um, we text a lot. I know. This was literally the other Because we're brothers. Right. I know you aren't awake, but just sending this so you know my pain right now. The tunnel is closed. I was in Hackney, which is obviously 15 minutes away. I left at 11.45. It's now 1.26. 
I've had a row with the Uber twice. I'm still 20 minutes away. I am never going out when this tunnel is shut ever again. This is hell. Instead of three kisses, you put three Zs. I woke up the next morning at 10 to 10 and went, no, that's long. <laughs> Me after having a lovely sleep. Guys, it was hell. It was hell. Um, moving on to, I just want to circle back to last night's scissor because I was with Emily Miller, who we love dearly, who was on the podcast, and who George seems to have a crush on and she seems to have a crush on George, but she has a boyfriend. No, the thing is, and the thing is, <laughs> and the thing is, oh, um, and the thing is, the thing is about the whole situ, hmm. there isn't a situ before people start saying, or is stuff. there? That, no, there isn't, because obviously Emily's happy with Cam. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> check. Emily's happy with Cam and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but um, she's she's obviously a really really beautiful woman. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There there has been discussions in the relationship to bring you in, but Cam declined. But the conversation that, has been and had. that is and the thing is and the thing that is, is a shame because that would be fun. We'll just tag in. Tag she out. is just too hot to handle. Hey! <laughs> anyway, on to Love Island. On to Love Island. I am fucking loving this series, by the way. This, I am loving it. I think... So I think it's sick. Last year was my favourite in years, but I think this may top it. This is this is good. It's TV. normal people. Like, everyone's How so How fucking different. jokes is people like Whitney in that? She's so real. Guys, mark my words. I want Whitney on this podcast more than anything, more than she's life so itself. When that is over, funny. when the series is over, it's when she's like, "It's giving bad bitch." Right, Whitney, you know sorry. Let's let's. I want to I want to talk about couple by couple what mm-hmm. we think about them, and then we'll talk about the few points that we've got. Okay, fine. So, guys, them. we're gonna basically because you love who's punching so much. Yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll rate the couple and who's punching, yeah. and then we'll talk about them. We're gonna do who's punching. So uh, let's Love just, Island couple edition. Let's just do first couple. Who's punching? Uh, I'm so sorry. Meddy or Whitney? I'm not even confident of which end that came out of. Joe. Let, I'm going to get it up. I, I, well, I know them. Oh, no, no. Because some of them have changed. Meddy. No, they. Ha- I watched it last night. Okay, right. First one. First one's first. Me- sorry. First. No, I've got the list. Uh, say it then. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do first names. Yeah. Okay. Don't give me that look. Do it. I'm tired. Do it. I can tell. KD and Zachariah. Hmm. Zachariah's punching. Zachariah's, yeah, yeah. He's punching. He I'm sorry. Punching. That man, very... Can I be real? Can that, I be real? I'll, I'll be real. I'll be so real. I don't get the hype. Oh, yeah, so I don't get the hype. I, d- I don't really get it. He's just not my type. He's really tall. He To me, he's... He's like skips leg day every day. He's okay. built personal. No, no, no. But like he just looks like he's built a bit like that. Yeah. Um. It's giving. It's giving beige. It's giving. It's giving soggy. It's giving soggy. Soggy wet cardboard. And I don't. I don't actually get why he speaks like that. Oh, look, I'm not. I don't want to be personal because I know that's him as a person. But I just don't really get it. I, I, yeah, I don't get the whole thing. And I'm by saying this, I'm also scared he's going to chin me at an event in three months' time. No, no, so. no he's fine. He's fine. Um, next, Leah and Montel. Wait, why are we, why are we, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? We're going past KD. KD's arm. It's who's punching, though. I know, but I want to talk about the couple. Oh, okay, fine. Well, what, K- do you, what do you think about KD's entrance and stuff? I, I like KD. I, I just always a bit hesitant at people <laughs> that have been in there before. I like KD. No, I know, but I was just. I'm always a bit hesitant about people that have been in there before. I think she's she's done really well to come in really confident in that. I feel like yeah. last year with Adam Collard, he was a bit like mm. trying to act confident, but she actually don't care. Like for her to yeah. just take Zachariah when she knows her, um, Zach and Molly were like really But was it a close. setup? I don't know. I guess we'll she's never know. She's fit though. Last night, you would have missed that they done the heart racing challenge. And oh, shit. I need to catch up. Is, I need to catch up. She is fit. Um, Leah and Montel. Montel's punching. Yeah, Montel is punching. Leah is, Leah is fit, mate. Leah's gorgeous. Leah is fit. Do you know what they are, though? She's a bit quiet, though. I would just say them as a couple. Mid? It's not even mid. It's just very, like, flying under the radar. Yeah. There's not really much going on. Yeah. What's the... There's Spanner short in the toolbox or whatever. I don't think that's the same. I never heard that in um, life. That makes me sound like I'm saying that they've got something wrong with them. They don't. They're just a bit dull for me. Like, I like a bit of drama. The thing is with Leah is she keeps saying, she's like, there is another side to me. There's another side to me. Like, oh, I'm not as quiet. Where is it? Y- yeah. Where is it, Leah? No. Time's, time is ticking, <laughs> Leah. Where, show us the personality. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nej, 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 no, he's shelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, next one. What? Mal and Sammy, but Sammy's surname is Root. Sammy Root is darling. <laughs> Root is darling. Guys, you heard it here first. Sammy from Love Island is actually Chelsea Lee Art's son. The thing is, right? <laughs> the thing and is, the thing is. No, Mal, mm-hmm. she's actually really jokes and I don't think they're putting her in enough. I she's think really, Mal's really funny. a good time girl. But she, she is nonstop like this. She's they're like they're like oh my god they're amazing D yeah she's I'm really just, getting to know guys, Sammy. She's just happy to be there. No, but she looks too happy. Do you think her like, um, what's in her coffee happy? She's oh. like yeah, we're having a great day. She's oh, just like, smuggled in some haggis up her ass and can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Mal's got half a pound of cat haggis up her anus and can't get out. So she's just constantly sat there like, oh, I'm really getting a no Sammy. Yeah. Oh, bless her. But no, I rate him as a couple. I what think- do you think of Sammy though? Because basically, when Sammy first came in as a bombshell, Joe was like, <laughs> tapping his card. I want that. Sammy is Bumper. fit as fuck. But then he starts like going on and you're just a bit like, is there well, much behind the eyes? Sammy as a one night stand, I would. Sammy as a personality. I think he's great, but I do think he's very, um, here's my hot take on it, right, people. You're in Love Island. It is a TV show. It's a game, yeah? Yes. And he constantly keeps like calling out everyone for playing a game. Be like, you're playing a game. Like, you're not real. Like, all the... I'm like... It's a whole reason. Yeah, like it's literally a TV show, but I think maybe he's just a bit. Um, I was going to say slow, but that's horrible. He's not slow. He does seem a bit slow. He's a nice guy, and I would. So next, Jess and Mitchell. I mean, I actually really rate them. I think Mitch is punching. I think Mitch is punching. I think Jess is amazing. I think they're both good Love Island personalities, and Jess I'm really happy they're so, together. The thing is, Jess is so real. Like we've already seen that she's said some shit. She don't care. She has had like a few times where she's had a, a tear up and whatever. But yeah. obviously it's a, it's a lot in there. But she's so real. But Mitch, I don't think there's ever been anyone like that on the show. Like last night, yeah. you missed it. But everyone's like, oh my God, Molly, see you later. And he gave her the longest hug and went, I'll love you forever. I'm going to miss you. And I'm like, this man, he's like yeah. a walking meme. He, he doesn't realise what he does. He is Jacob's crackers. He's, Jets crackers. He's so funny. He is. He's nutty, but I love it. He's a bar of fruit and nut, our Mitchell. But like, even when he's like the biggest shit stirrer, like when they said Zach was like, they were like, uh, never ever cheated and Zach drunk. Yeah. And he went, oh, Zach, you're not the man I thought you were. Why would you say no, that? No, but it's funny. It's so no, I funny. It's funny. He's, I'd say Mitchell is your intrusive thoughts. Yeah. And he just Mitchell says Mitchell is the things that you never normally would say. And he's just saying them. And yeah. I rate that for him. Um, Whitney and Mehdi. I am obsessed with this couple. I'm obsessed with Whitney. I think they are TV gold. I do think obviously Mehdi's punching. Yeah. But I think the whole thing is so great. And speaking of which, I wanted to actually react and play this now. Because Steph Dom was on After Sun last night and yeah. said something well controversial about the pairing, so I want to get it up. I just want to say as well, I, there is no, I'm sorry, I don't care what they say. There is nothing in common between them two. They no. would never work. They will never work on the outside no. or anything. No, like they won't, but they I wouldn't trust but I understand. Me. Yeah, but I know, but it's Love Island. I get what she's doing. She's saying like, I would never meet this man on the outside. So I'm going to try and give it going here. Which is fair enough, because also if you go for people that are normally your type in there, if it didn't work on the outside, it's not going to work. Well, I've seen the snippet for obviously tonight and yeah. they have a big old argument. So. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll watch it after Scissor again. Um, let me play this. And then she was like, you know what? I tried, but I see where this is going. So let me just keep trying. But yeah. he knows that's not it. He definitely, I don't know if he even likes female. Oh. 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 Look at Maya's reaction. The crowd is gagged. I'm sorry. She needs media training. Oh my. Who, like, I mean, again, intrusive thoughts one for Steph Londo. Do you not think though? I don't know whether it's a French thing. Um, and I have <laughs> seen clips about it, but the way he walks. No, nah, but his walk is, it's 
What does that mean? The walk is it's giving like cat to the cat to the purr, you know what I mean? Like no, okay, I don't know what you mean. Well, it's giving. Medi's walk is giving. But exactly, but I know it's like 2023, and obviously men can be very like feminine I, and all that. But like, do you know what I mean? I, I do get, get a point. No, no, I I'm all about a flamboyant man. I I don't think that I don't think she should have said what she said. I don't know if she's. Wrong, I don't though. think she should have said that on After Sun. Period. And that is that. And that is that. Period. And that's on. Period. What's that mean? <laughs> that's on. Period. <laughs> right, next couple. Next couple. Sorry. Right, next couple. I want to speak about. I don't care what is on the list. Ella and Tyreek. Oh, that's what I want to oh. speak about. Okay. That's right. Okay. Ella and Tyreek. Mm. I think. I think I'm going to say like Ty is punching because I think Ella's really, yeah, really yeah. fit. But I want to know your opinion on them because obviously Ty now wants to get to know Katie. Mm, yeah. And Ella last night, I don't know if you saw it, had like basically a breakdown because right. he's saying like, I'm not fully closed off. Like I want to test, I want to test. Yeah. But what Ella's saying is you should know what you've got with me. Yeah. They've been together long enough. And then... Ty said, I want to go back to the game. Like, I've been out, I'm, like, this is all new. I want to go back to the game. Be, me and, like, I want to go back to fucking loads of birds. I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be so real so, right now. Yeah. What does Ty want? I, I rate him and he no. comes out with the funniest one-liners, but I'm like, okay. you can't be treating a girl like that. I love, I love them as a couple. <laughs> I think when they're good, they're great. And they're such a good Love Island couple. My, my hot take on this situation is... He's just a single lad that's never been in a relationship that loves fucking around, never right? Never been in a relationship, yeah. Don't go on Love Island. Yeah. Because you're miss you're the concept is to be in, you know, find a relationship with someone. And there's just everything that he does makes me think that you don't actually want... I think he's scared of commitment. That's what he said. And Yeah, and he he's, said that. he's so scared of commitment, but... He was like, it's all new to then, me. To, but then don't you're going on. in Love Island, like... And as well, he's messing with, like, Ella's emotions real bad now. Like, she's yeah. obviously... She hasn't tried to t do a test of anyone else. She knows she wants yeah. Ty. And Ty, but she is, seems miserable all the time on the show because she she's does. constantly... He's making her sad. So I think that... Yeah. And I feel bad for her sometimes. I think you don't want your whole Love Island experience, like, tinged. Mm. By being sad all the time. But for I a just guy. think Ty is like now taking the piss of it a bit. Mm. Like, and I get you can explore options and all that. It's it, that's yeah. why the show's there. But not every it. day is a test. Yeah, yeah. It's not and, fucking sat season. And as well, he does. It's giving GCSEs. <laughs> it's giving GCSEs. Every day is a fucking test for Ty. He does say one thing to her and then like does another though as well. Do you know what I mean? Like he says to her, he's that's like, a fuck boy though. He's like, I can't see my head turning out. Or blah blah. Mm. Katie comes in. He took her to the terrace. Yeah. And went. Oh, and then do you know what he also said, which I clocked onto? He went, if Katie pulls me and says if uh, say for example i'm katie and she goes i want to get to know you he went mm. yeah i'll be open he took her to the terrace mm. and went i want to get to know he's you. he's a fuck boy it's but that is what fuck boys fuck do boy. they tell you what you want to hear and then you're speaking from experience here aren't you i've been around the block oh no not in that way oh okay maybe in that way uh, and the thing is and the thing is but uh i know i know what men are like like that but you can see the warning signs straight away and i think ella knows i think ella's running through the red flags alexa play mimi web i think ella is running through them red flags like fucking usain bolt right now <laughs> and i feel like she needs to stop take a dip in the pool and maybe chat up someone else Fair. and that is my opinion and that's on god uh, period <laughs> <laughs> um Catherine and Scott. Oh my God, this couple. Right. Scott's punching. Scott is punching. Scott's Scott looks like... He's quite boring. Um, Scott Catherine looks like... Catherine is unreal, by the way. She's stunning, isn't there she? There was... Again, there was the heart race challenge last night. Yeah. My heart was racing. She's unreal. I... She's tell, got... She's got me, back half. Tell me that this is not Scott. Yeah, I see it's it. It's the head from Heart Attack. I see it. I do. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit rude, but I see it. I mean, mm, bit rude. Not it's great. Not a bad looking head. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. She's, not me. Just saying that the Catherine, heart attack heads fit. Catherine oh, is unreal. Like, yeah, stunning. She's got back on. But they've not really got much chemistry. And when Sammy said that, everyone went in at Sammy because I don't think he said it correctly. Right, yeah. But I think what he was trying to say was they haven't got much like. Oof, you know what I mean? Like Tyreek and Ella, there's like passion there. Mm. And with Jess and Sammy, although they argued, I think I think that was bad when people said they weren't compatible, Sammy and Jess, because 
not every couple's going to react and work in the same way. And I think they just saw them argue and was like, oh, do you know what I mean? But e then easy people to if you, target. Yeah, if you use that as an excuse, then Tyreek and Ella are not compatible and all that. So I thought that was a bit unfair. But anyway, that is everyone. Um, Currently. Oh, no, who's punching? Oh, yeah, we said Scott's punching. Yeah, yeah. So that is our who's punching with Love Island. And I just wanted to talk about the Molly dumping situation. That fucking savage, Because savage. I feel like the whole of the UK at that point was like, oh, I feel like if we My were still on- My literally dropped. If, like, if we were still on Gogglebox, that would have been- Gold. A gaggy clip for all of us. Because I remember collectively, we were all like, oh, George, me and George text each other, like, fuck, 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 the whole time. But like, Actually, speaking of which, I think we should watch it right now. Yeah. Yeah, again, I want to relive this. It nah, must this, be so bro, awkward to film. I can already feel the tension. This like. was fucked. This was so fucked. Zachariah. Oh, Molly's eyes. No, but no, but this next bit. It was there, it was there. It was, do you know what though? It's the way they play this next bit with nah. no music, no nothing. This is hands down one of the best Love Island moments of recent years. Like hands down. Ever. Everyone's like, don't cry, don't cry. I know, add fucking salt to the wound. Hold it in. Oh, she's fuming. She's fucking fuming. No, not the text. I can't. I'll get pieces. Ah! <laughs> it's silent. No music, nothing. Molly, you are now single and therefore have been dumped from the island. Ah! Please oh, pack man. your bags and say your goodbyes. Oh! Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Oh. I just, I am Catherine. I am Catherine. God. It's the silence. Not the crickets. Not the crickets. <sighs> Ty couldn't give a fuck. Ty was just rubbing his nose. <laughs> I can't. That is fucking mad. That was man. honestly one of the best, best Love Island moments of all time. Oh, shit. But also, like, with Molly, she's... Like, doing really well. Her brand was really well built up in there. <clears throat> the public love her. She had a strong couple. It just shows that these producers can just be like... Well, all, all of the rumours are that she's coming back in Casa and all things like that. But we've seen her land in the UK. Yeah. She's been having pictures at Leeds Airport with fans and stuff. So I don't think she is. Yeah, because they keep you out there, don't they? Yeah, they'd keep you out there to like Casa, wouldn't know. they? But then, okay, here's my, my opinion. She's done a lot of... No other islanders have left. They've, the team have put as much into so like, so, like, she did this interview when she left. They followed her to her hotel packing up and everything. She had a chat outside. She had a crew with her, like, in the UK filming stuff, like, traveling back. I'm thinking something's going to happen here. There's no way that they've put that much energy into it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Um, anyway, that is the Love Island chat. That, that was nuts, though. That no, was I know. absolutely nuts. The way they didn't have any music going on, nothing. She's fucking And crackers. then they just, like... I thought they were going to cut the episode straight away with the music because I didn't even end the episode with the music. You no, know, it goes, oh. oh. It was just silent. It was just silent. Like yeah. the credits were silent. So I was in I my know. room like. Everyone was, George was texting me. We were just like. We just messaged each other. We were like, this can't be real. Um, on to news. On to news. <clears throat> on to Sorry, on to news. On to news, okay. <clears throat> so obviously a lot's happened in the last week. We thought we'd catch up on. <clears throat> um, one bit that's been all over everyone's few pages, the news articles, thing. the biggest thing was the Titanic submarine. The Titan submarine, I believe. Like Titan that. submarine. Yeah. Um, obviously, since finding out that it imploded, RIP to the people that died. I mean, that's, that's fucking horrendous. Yeah. Um, but I've seen a lot of things online about like the worst five people you could be stuck in a submarine with. Um, and we wanted to talk about that because, I mean, it's quite a funny conversation, isn't it, to have about being, imagine being trapped anywhere with five people. Mm. Who would your worst five people be? Five, I don't even know if I know five Five's people. a lot five's to a choose, lot. but there's a few that I think I couldn't be in a confined space with you for a long period of time. Who? Alphaba. The <laughs> reason being is because there would be no radio or anything and we'd have to listen to Defying Gravity over and over and over again. Oh, no, that's that's not my worst reason, but I won't say it. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I'd say I'd say anyone that realistically does a lot of TikTok lives like Chelsea Lee are, I feel like it'd be funny at first. And then it'd get too much. And then like, imagine like you're just in darkness and you can hear like, nostrils, our roots. I'd be imagine like- Imagine being in there with a history teacher. 
a history oh, teacher. He'd be yeah, telling you about the Titanic. really boring. Like how deep the sea is, how the Romans invaded this part of the sea yeah. in 13 BC. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck. Can we bleep this name, Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Let's bleep this name. No! No, I think, um, I think, yeah, there's a few people that I would... We, we've got people that we would want to I think, yeah, though. I think we've got the submarine, really, of people, um, yeah, it's a lot. What, like, if you could be stuck, if you could be stuck down there with one person, though, who would you want it to be? Oh, like someone you'd be stuck at the bottom of the ocean with? Yeah, that you think would just be hilarious, funny. I think, oh, it depends. If I know I'm, imminent death is coming, it'd have to be someone funny. If it's survival, Bear grills. You'd fuck off, you'd go down there with Bear grills. But he'd know what to do. Right now, I'm with Joe Bags, and I'm about to drink my piss. Fuck off. You wouldn't listen to that. I'd do it that. to survive. You wouldn't, you'd want like Madonna or some shit. I know you. You'd want Scissor. Okay. I'd have Scissor. I'd have Scissor I mean? serenading me. Actually, her album at the start, there's Morse code for SOS, so I feel like she'd be really good at that. I'd, I'd have someone really fit. Oh, I don't want to. Emily. Emily Miller. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> um, yeah, the only time Cam can't contact her at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I'd say also, what would your tactics be if you're in this sub and then you're running out of air, right? But like, you know, there's options of what you could do. My, don't, I think, don't you go low. But I read online that if you kill someone down there and then you actually get rescued, like you can get done for mountain. Murder, water. of course. Oh. Obviously. You fucking idiot. I thought it was just, you know, fight or flight type of thing. Do you, do you, like, when they went missing, I genuinely believed that they were going to be found. Because Same. the people that were on there, the caliber of people, for example, billionaires. Yeah. They'd paid £250,000 to go down there. You love a conspiracy theory, don't I you? I love a conspiracy theory. I saw, I I saw, know what you're I saw a conspiracy theory the, that basically people were like... They're not dead. But, oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, 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 oh! No, my conspiracy theory that I saw oh. was that basically, like, it, someone was trying to distract these billionaires in some sort of way with this thing. Like, they've got so much money, mm. they've got so much they could have literally done because it was so badly built and it was such a shoddy thing, wasn't it? Mm. That people were saying that they were kind of distracted to go and do it. I don't know what the ins and outs of it. But the one like, I saw because like as if you're a billionaire and you're going to go in a submarine control by a PlayStation well, remote, well, like, are you dumb? A, so this is the one I saw that they went on there to be, like to to do this exhibition. Obviously, it went wrong because it's they've done it many times in it. Yeah. And this time they had like a big whatever, and this time that it went wrong. I've seen a conspiracy theory that like they're now obviously still billionaires, but they're just wiped off planet Earth. And I know you'd be they like, found debris. Yeah, but. Obviously, it could be like just hear the theory, right? They fa they literally found the imploded submarine. No, they found parts of it, which anyone you could replicate. You are on it. You and your okay. Anyway, theory. listen. And then they said they did that. So then, like, obviously, because when you're like a billionaire and all stuff like that, I don't know. They said it's something like the government and how these guys were on the government payroll and all things like that. And I know, but then you were just where are you going to go? But they just start a new life somewhere. I don't think it's... I don't With think all their money. I Duh. I don't think the world works like that, George. I'm sorry. Well, they're not dead. Yeah, no, well, they are. Well, no, it's maybe you real, should though. go and get some puss. For real, though. If <laughs> anyone wants to come in the submarine with me with some puss, yeah. Shout, man. <laughs> At Maddie Jepsen. <laughs> That's who I'd want to be stuck with. Maddie. 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 <laughs> Sound the alarm, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, um, funny. Um, the next bit of news as well... <clears throat> Oh, this Dark is a, turn. This is a big one. But I wanted to comment on this because um, of all those lads that watch all the podcasts and stuff and absolutely up this man's arsehole 24-7. There's been a big story recently about Romanian kickboxer. We're going to call him AT for the purpose of this podcast. Yes. Who's been charged with some horrific ordeals like in the last, was it the last week? Literally yeah. the last five days. Yeah. And I truly believe, I've said from the start, he's a bit of a scumbag and all the lads on the internet love him and repost his stuff and really big him up. And I think this goes to show that he is a scumbag. Well, the, the, it, the thing is, obviously... And the thing is... They've got enough evidence, obviously, to yeah. recharge him with these allegations. They've, obviously, they've said they've denied all allegations. Because yeah. at the minute, as much as it's... I'm not defending him. It's one of these things. It's still an allegation because yeah. it's, it's being taken to trial. Do you know what I mean? I think the people that spout off the loudest are always trying to cover up something. Yeah, and, and, he, and the thing... 
And the thing is, and the thing is, he came out of like nowhere and got all this following and that. I know, which, which makes me think it's like a cover up as yeah, well, though. Which is dumb. Like because he did that. He's made all his money, and then he started to get squeaky bum time and thought shit. But then he got this big army of What's people. What's squeaky bum time? We get it. We get it. Do you not know what squeaky bum what time is? What is squeaky is? bum time? Did you know what squeaky bum time is? No. Squeaky bum time is when your bum twitches a bit because you get a bit nervous. You're going to like shit yourself. Squeaky bum time. Squeaky bum time. So if you're like, if I'm nervous. I've never. If I'm. In, for the life of me heard this. If you're nervous and you have squeaky bum time, like if, if for example, this is, this is in my terms. I'm going to be real with you. Squeaky bum time for a gay man is very different to what this is. <laughs> what? Squeaky bum time is like, <laughs> so for example, in my terms, if someone is drifting around a roundabout and they yeah. nearly crash or, and they catch it, catch the car yeah. back and they're going straight, they're like, oh, have a squeaky bum time. Like I nearly just shit Ow. myself. Squeaky bum time for you is you fucking <laughs> 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 Squeaky bum time for me is a Friday night. Oh. Um, oh. Speaking of driving, just quick. Because <laughs> this, re this really made me laugh the other day. It's made me scream. Me and George are driving around a roundabout on the way to McDonald's to pick up new summer menu. And George just comes out and says, you cannot... Sorry, he said, you cannot have a car higher than this Mini because you will roll it, <laughs> he right? He will roll it. Which I think, coming to think of it now, I will. Because the way I turn corners, I if I had you. anything higher than a Mini, I'd roll it. I swear to you. I drive man, like it's fucking Mario Kart this, and I'm flipping on them we bananas. We will be going, I can even envision one of where we live right now, right? It's the one near Tesco. You'll be coming up I, to it. I've drifted on it before. Joe will be coming up to it at 50. And you know, like, okay, he's got a manual. You start to clutch in, down the gear, whatever. He'll just go, ha, ha, ha. I, and I'd be up against the window like this. Can I just it's say. Fucked. It's so fucked. Can I just say, as, as a gay man. There's no. There reason. is no better feeling in this world, aside the squeaky bum time, <laughs> of, <laughs> of. Driving, blasting your music, iced coffee in hand, taking a corner. Joe, I'm so I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with being gay, straight, whatever. You can't drive <laughs> and you don't slow down at roundabouts. I just think it's part of who I am. I'm not I'm not a dangerous driver. He's not, no, you're I'm not, not a dangerous, a dangerous driver. driver. I've driven for many years. I'm a good driver, but I'm just Okay. I just fucking love okay. it. He's not a good driver, but he's not a dangerous driver. Yeah. You leave a drive too slow in too high a gear yeah. and the car goes <laughs> your engine. I or, shouldn't have a manual. Or um, you just do the speed limit. But the thing is, the thing, and the, is big <laughs> the thing is with you, Joe, and I'm not even lying. Yeah. If you know when you're on a road and it's a, it might be a 40 road and it says 40 around the roundabout, yeah. you don't have to do 40, but he does. Why you is know, it telling me people, to do 40? People go up to roundabout and go 20. Joe goes, let's stay at 40. And then I'm up against some thing like, let's ride. Savage. I'm, let's ride. I think we should start a GoFundMe on get, like, get Joe a new car. I want a Tesla. <laughs> 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 you want one so that, was, that was the lost Mary pink lemonade coming up from last night. <laughs> Just a quick one. Another bit of news. Elon Musk. You love a bit of news today. I know, because there's so much to talk about. Elon Musk. And what's his name? Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yep. Wanted to have a fight. I think it's going to happen. What did he say? Wait. Oh, he said, send me the location. And I want to see fight. the stats. Elon. And I love the talk of fights in terms of like the kind of misfits boxing era as well. Because... I think it's so funny to think about people beefing and having fights. I, mean, I know we said about me and Kyron having one, but I think I'd do it. Someone had the stats of like, oh, here we go, here we go, stats. So Mark Zuckerberg versus Musk. Age 39 for Zuckerberg, 51 for Elon Musk. Yeah. Height, five foot seven, Zuckerberg. Five foot 11 for Elon Musk. Weight, 154 pounds, Zuckerberg. 178 <coughs> pounds, Elon Musk. Net worth. 103 billion Zuckerberg, 236 billion Elon Musk. Then what? the nationality is American, South African, social media sites own Meta, Twitter, children, three for Zuckerberg, nine for Elon Musk. <laughs> I think that guys, man's got balls of steel. I think that that would be an incredible fight. Companies owned one to seven and then discipline. So this is actually where it gets interesting. Mark Zuckerberg does Bra Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay. And Elon Musk does karate, taekwondo, and judo. I feel like so when they you're actually that, both know how to fight. When you're that rich, I feel like you just get bored and learn anything. Um, Elon Musk is built like Mike Wazowski. Oh, <laughs> no, to be fair. Therefore, Mark, I don't think he's got a chance. Mark Zuckerberg is actually built a bit like an athlete. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Elon Musk, honestly, have you seen the photos of him like on the yachts and stuff? Wait, let me just have him. That Elon. man is built 
Like a melting candle. Elon Musk, topless. Oh, I don't want to be mean now. This is a weird search. I feel like that was mean. Oh. I think he's got that much money that I can be mean. There's Just th share it. That man needs a sunbed. I know, I that know. That man needs a I sunbed. Know. It's giving transparent. It's giving Casper the ghost. It's so Show real. that to the camera. That's so real. If you can see that, it's that picture of the French bulldog. Like, I'm oh, not being, so I'm real. not, I'm not body shaming because he's so rich. Oh, he's he, he so give a fuck minted that saying, one, yeah. he doesn't give a fuck. And two, I feel like with that much money, you could just like chop off your head and get a new body. I'm pretty sure. Mm, I wouldn't go that far, but you never know. It, anyway. would, it would, but imagine actually watching that though. I know. Like, I thought that Liam Payne and Tommy Fury one was going to happen, but that, it was for Aid, was, wasn't it? That, yeah, was but I ran into George's room and was like, would you look at this? And he was like, it's Soccer Aid. It's Soccer Aid, Joe. Yeah. I know. Is that, is that you done with your news? Am I done with news? You love a bit of news. I'm done with my news segment. Thank you for watching. What would you, who would you be and what news channel would you be on if you had to be an anchor? Are they called anchors? Yeah, you? news anchor. I would be, okay. I would be more chilled news, current affairs, -y, good morning Britain. Oh, it's very Tory though. Oh yeah. And not with their recent. Maybe like CBBC. Oh, but then I can't say that's Nancy. Yeah. Oh, who would I be on the news channel? Yeah. Who would you be on a news oh. channel? I, you give channel four, six o'clock. Do I? That guy who just sits there and goes, hello and welcome back. <laughs> Joking, no, yeah. I think I'd be a fun news. Like, can it be any news? Like Alan Titchmarch does like garden news. That's not news. Um, Alan Titchmarch does I would not be BBC One. No offense, I love BBC One, but they're very professional. You give one show. That's not really news. Hey, I'm Alan Jones. I do the one show. <laughs> Guys, if you're casting, I do the one show. Hey, I'm Alan Jones. And welcome back to the one show. That's what she's like. She thinks like she's pissed. <laughs> hey, I'm Alan Jones. And welcome back to the one show. I'm the one show. That's how she speaks. Oh, I love them. You've got to love them. Alan Jones. Hey, I'm Alan Jones. <laughs> <laughs> right, George. Anyway, enough. Joe's actually got one more bit of news. Molly May. Have I got more news for you? Molly May. Step, Step down, down from PLT. Yeah. Why? What do we think? Also, it's not really been covered much. No one's really talking to about be, it. To be She's fair. She's making way for uh, Molly Grace Marsh. What do you think? No, she, um, it might, I think it probably is like, to do with the most, not like most simple things, but like things like stress and that. She doesn't need the money. I think she's got a new baby. Yeah, yeah. She's just Her man's doing well. They're both doing well in their own right. I don't think she, yeah, I don't think she needs it. Yeah. Probably comes it's a, a lot shame. of stress. It's a shame because I think she was really cool with that brand. But um, but look, Joe, you got to remember, there's only 24 hours in a day. Exactly. Exactly. And if Molly May can't do it. No one can. Then no one can. We're fucked. We are fucked. It's a bit sad, really. Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Molly May stepped down from PLT. Period. <laughs> no! I'm, so, st I'm stepping up. Wait. Period. Wait, I, I want to touch on something. I saw a TikTok mm -hmm. and someone was saying Molly Grace Marsh <clears throat> and yeah. Molly May are very similar. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was a big thing, whether it was consciously or if it was just coincidence. Yeah. For example, what Molly May would wear in her series is what Molly wore in this series, like mm. the, the, the jackets and stuff. Like the facial expressions, there was like an exact picture. Yeah. There was the hiding from the terrace when Molly hid behind the plant. Do you know what, George? I just think she's a white blonde girl. And that's just like what they're like. I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything like to be investigated. They're just similar. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. What? Our producer's a white blonde girl. No, I know. What do you I'm mean? just saying. I know a lot of white blonde girls. What do you mean? To me, that but makes no just sense. mannerisms that are very similar. I'm so confused, but okay. It's fine. No, it's fine. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. She's a white <laughs> blonde girl. <laughs> what do you mean? Anyway, sorry. I'm Alan Jones. <laughs> I'm Alan Jones. And thank you for watching the one show. <laughs> I'm Alan Jones. <laughs> we thought we ended the news segment, but we haven't. There's more news I wanted to chat about. Uh, this is actually kind of sad. Man dies after medical incident at Glastonbury. Mm, but that was that was yesterday, which uh, so that was on Sunday. Fuck that! Oh my god, that is so sad. Although, do you know what I think? Hate. It was thirty. Found dead in his tent. Oh no, that was in two thousand nineteen. A six-year-old was found dead in his tent. No, that was thirty degrees yesterday. Someone sadly passed away. Do we know how? No, I don't oh. think so. Obviously, yeah, it's hot. 
There's so many people. Like we've been to like um It's so sad. We've been to concerts, you see people getting pulled out. Yeah. Like on stretchers and that. Oh my god, summertime ball. Some summertime ball. Is, people are pulled out the crowd green. There's like 16 year old girls green. But I think it's where they like wait at the start for so yeah. long and the sun is beating. You don't eat through no sun cream, no water. Yeah. Um, but, you don't want to lose your place in the queue, but that is that is really really but sad. T- touching on Glasto, I watched the Elton John. Yeah, v- the Elton John. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Elton John's like performance. It was like a two hour set. It was absolutely was nuts. I've never ever ever seen that, a crowd that big. Really, it's like his last ever show in it. Yeah, well, apparently his farewell show, or so he says. But he said that quite. No, a few I think times. this was the one. But I've never seen that many people. It is never. insane. Never, ever, never, never ever seen that many people. But it made me think, imagine needing a piss mm. and you are there. You'd have to, I'd have to get my cock yeah. out and just get you to cover me and piss on the floor. Yeah. There is no way I'd be able to find you ever yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. That you know stresses what I mean? me and the signal and everything. That stresses me out. Oh my God, you know who? Who was the surprise guest? You know? There was, who, there was loads. He brought, he was bringing loads of surprise people out. Did he? Yeah. Because, um, yeah, I was interested. I'm glad I, I missed it. I can't believe how good Fred again set looked. Oh. George loves Fred again. Oh my God. He was dropping unreleased music. It was nuts. But like, he's obviously never set, and he said in interviews, he never wanted to be like a main stage person. Yeah. Did he do the main stage? He had to do like the main stage and it was packed there was thousands and of people he's oh, like and he, st- he stood I'm and happy he stood him. and actually cried and apparently that was his Did like it? i've made it moment yeah oh i'm real i want to go next year i've never been to glastonbury do you know i what, would though? love to go i saw a clip as well they do pop-up stages but like I've pe- seen this. people are walking past with drinks and all of a sudden this stage yeah. opens up and music starts playing and you just a crowd falls. Oh, i really want to go so good. it looks so fun Glasgow looks like the best i just couldn't ever. camp i'd have to do something that is there's, it the glamping or whatever? No, they've got glamping with proper toilets and big tents. Yeah, have you it. seen oh. the one? There's a, there's a site. It's like 26 grand or something and you get a pole. At Glasgow? Yeah, in Glasgow. And it costs 26,000 yeah, it's like Yeah, it's like a village, like a, like a posh people village. But I don't think I could do the camping. I've camped once at a festival. It was V Festival. I've camped once at a festival. Um, worst thing ever. Worst thing ever. Uh, to give you guys an idea, one night was like the purge. People were setting fire to tents. Oh yeah, that was the last night. <clears throat> Wine. And it was it was really scary. It was like sirens, everything. The other night, I had a group of lads. So I was woken up to a group of lads picking me up in the tent. Mm. So is there anyone in this one? The gay panic. Mm. In my, I thought I'm I'm a goner. No, like it, I'm literally gonna camping die. Camping is probably the worst thing you can do ever. Yeah. Some people love and it, and it smells. People love it. Like I've got mates who are like going camping four days. They love it. They just love it. The rogueness. It is. Hot. Horrid. It's the Horrible. fact that loads of people link up and shag in tents too. That's fucking filth. Like with a cheesy helmet. Cheesy You're right. Knob. The next part that we want to end on, George and I did this thing for puberty. It was called Dad Jokes. And basically we had to sit there with a shocker pad and read out dad jokes. It was really funny. And I'm not and gonna lie, I thought the dad the, the jokes were gonna be shit. And they yeah. were some of the funniest jokes. And they were I've funny. So George wanted to kind of like make me laugh. There's one thing that you could do right now to make me laugh anyway. Hey, I'm Alex Jones, and I. <laughs> By the way, there's nothing wrong with uh, Alex Jones from the one show, <laughs> but Mum's always Mum can do a really good, obviously Welsh, Welsh impression, and she's always said when she speaks, she just sounds a bit pissed left. And she goes, "Hey, I'm Alex Jones," and Joe said he wants me to get progressively more pissed. So at the end, I'm gonna, "Hey, I'm Alex Jones." <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway yeah so George's gonna read me some jokes I'm just gonna see if they're funny yeah I hope I haven't wrote these jokes I found these um, first one I'm just gonna reel them off and you find me if they're tell me if they're funny um, what's the difference between a G spot and a golf ball I don't know a guy will actually search for a golf ball okay uh-huh. how do you make your girlfriend scream during sex call and tell her about it oh Oh, <laughs> oh you below the go- belt. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because it's not yeah. having sex. What do boobs and toys have in common? I don't know. They were both originally made for kids, but daddies end up playing with them. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually disgusting. That's a bit grim. Yeah. Oh, what do what do <laughs> what do women and a bar have in common? I don't know. Liquor in the front, poker in the back. I'm sorry. The misogyny <laughs> is unreal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, these are dad jokes. Um, 
You're yet to make me laugh. What's the difference between your boyfriend and a condom? I don't know. Condoms have evolved. They're not so thick and insensitive anymore. Oh, that one's, that one's just written by someone that hates their man. What do you call the useless piece of skin on the dick? I don't know. The man. <laughs> Why am oh. I laughing at the jokes and you're not? Oh, I can't. Um, this is very mid-humour. What does a nearsighted gynecologist and a puppy have in common? I don't know. They both have a wet nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's fucking okay, funny. Okay, you made me laugh. That's funny. You made me laugh. I don't know, at least I made you laugh once. Um, that's funny. <laughs> oh, God. How does a woman scare the gynecologist? By becoming a ventriloquist. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh. Um, how is sex like a game of bridge? I don't know. If you have a great hand, you don't need a partner. Oh, I don't know what bridge is. So. I, don't, I don't get that either. What's the difference between anal and oral sex? <laughs> oral sex makes your day, anal makes your whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, George, these are bottom of the barrel humour, this is. Oh, you, you'll like this one, and you know this one. Okay. What do you call a lesbian dinosaur? Oh. Lick a lot of puss. When you do you said want to know that, a fun fact about this joke, right? It's funny that this has come up. You said that this at age nine? When you? I was about eight or nine, we stayed in this hotel in Cornwall. There was, you know, they always have the kids camp bit in like, well, they used to in hotels and stuff. And your parents would kind of drop you off and you'd like make friends, whatever. And they, they had one there and they had a kid's talent show. And they were like, what's your talent? And I was like, oh, my dad has funny jokes. So like, I'll be a comedian, whatever. Because I overheard dad saying that joke. So then I got on stage in front of a room full of people, like all mums and dads. I must have been about eight or nine. And they were like, oh, like, I was like, my talent's comedian. And then I said that joke and no one laughed. Mum and dad actually were at the back of the room and dad is looking at the lady on stage going, get him off, get him off. It was uh, a mum killed dad for it. I think we should end on that note. We'll end on that note. There is This This is actually a good website. I'm going to have to okay. show dad some of these. Um, you got any part in comments? Oh, I'm a bit Jules and welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, this has been funny. I like doing these ones with just you. Yeah, no, I hope, guys, let us know in the comments if you enjoy these episodes. Like, George and I love doing them. Obviously, we love having guests in. It's so much fun. But, um, yeah, let us know if you've enjoyed, what you've enjoyed, and what you'd like to see. More of and stuff, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to go and see Scissor for the third time and probably cry even more than last night because I'm hungover. Um, oh, George, what are you up to this evening? Um... Probably going home bashing one out. I'm Ali Jules, I'm going to go home. No, I'm going to go home, get some dinner. Oh, my oh God. I want to eat dinner. I'm going to have a Mackey's. I'm going to get Ooh. waggers. Um, and on that note. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If I don't see you through a week, I'll see you through a window. If I don't see you in a week, oh. I'll see you through, I don't see you through a I fucked that one up and I. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode anyway, please rate us five stars on Spotify. It helps massively. And if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you'd like to see next. But from me and Joseph. From me and Alex Jones. From me and Alex Jones, make cool part of today. That is us this week. We will be back next week Thank with you. a special guest. Yes. So keep your eyes peeled, turn keep on your post eyes notifications, peeled and all your that legs good open. Shit. Goodbye. Goodbye.